Twitch has recently been known as the streaming platform that's killing itself by adding dumb policies such as raising the price of Turbo to $11.99 although no new features were added and banning big creators that have been on the platform for some time without a real explanation. And on June 6th, they decided to sharpen a pencil and stick it up their ass once again by adding two main rules that would negatively impact all streamers on the platform. Now these two rules included one, reducing the size of logos on screen to be 3% or less and for visual appearance, this is what it looks like, with all the black rectangles showing different ways 3% is made up. So it's pretty small. And the sec- wait. That's not the first time I heard that, but. The second rule is Twitch removing all burned in video ads, display ads, and audio ads. And for those that don't know, burned in ads is basically something like this. Three, two, one, and once Twitch released this news to the public, World War fucking 14 started since people on the platform called them out and threatened to leave to join an alternate streaming platform which is like the worst thing that can happen for a company so Twitch one day later decided to backtrack on themselves releasing multiple tweets just showing that, you know, they're sorry and removing what they did. So some streamers did get pretty mad at Twitch for even thinking about doing something like this, so let's see what they have to say. So one of the biggest Twitch streamers, QXV, talked about the situation on his live stream and had this to say. To prohibit third party ad network from selling burned in video and display ads on Twitch, which is continuing with other services. Huh? Huh? What? Wait, this doesn't make, this doesn't make any sense. Wait. Wait, YouTube has burned in shit on every big channel. Every big channel has burned in stuff on it. Bro, every- Well, YouTube, every big YouTube video huh? has quite literally a video from the brand and then them using the brand and then them using it on stream. He is talking at 400 words per minute, so I don't really blame anyone who didn't understand what the fuck he just said, but for translation, he stated how removing burned in sponsors doesn't make sense and how other platforms like YouTube allow it to happen. Moist Critical or Penguin Zero dropped multiple bombs, acting like he's playing Battleship by first responding to Twitch's initial decision by saying, it's actually impressive how Twitch manages to make the most dog shit changes imaginable. And then someone replied under this tweet by saying, It's almost like they're trying to let Kick and Rumble overtake them. Twitch is run by absolute clowns lol. Trolley then replied to a Twitch tweet that stated how their policy changes were confusing by saying, Don't know what confusion you're referring to. There's literally pictures in the announcement you are pretty specific. Just admit you're completely lost as a platform. This is backpedaling to try and solve vague a catastrophic out of touch geriatric policy decision. Huh? And this was also stated multiple times under Twitch's replies with Optimus saying that 3% of the screen guideline was pretty specific. No burned in sponsored ads was pretty specific. There was no confusion. And this is spot on. Like when you look at this, how do you even get confused? Like they added pictures, made everything in one sentence, and they color coordinated it. Like what else more can you even do? Trolley then tweeted one more time, basically saying how no one's going to trust Twitch anymore and how he's expecting to see another greedy policy change within the next six months. So as we've seen, the comments under Trolley's tweets do show some concerns, but we can't forget about the 12 year old Cheeto eating Fortnite playing Twitter users who always give the most educated responses. Kai Sana also talked about the situation on his live stream by asking the Twitch CEO to sit in a call with the top streamers to discuss about the problems the platform has. Get the top streamers of your platform, okay? Get the top streamers of your platform, put us in a Discord call. If you're really about that, Put us in a Discord call, okay? Bring XQC, bring me, bring whoever you gotta bring in. We're gonna tell you what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. And if you, if, ooh, Twitch, I dare you, if you, if you refuse to listen to what we gotta say. Nigga, you ain't funny. That's not true. Maybe you're just boring as fuck and lame as hell. Cause <laughs> only lame niggas say that shit. Oh my god. Um, swiftly moving forward. <laughs> Asmongold tweeted about this incident by saying, I don't say it lightly, but I think this is a legitimate situation where streamers should consider boycotting Twitch or moving to other platforms. And then he also said this in his live stream. I woke up at the exact moment that Twitch decided to kill their own website. I, I'm losing my fucking mind. 
and I'm laying in bed getting mad. Like, I'm, you guys ever read Twitter in bed and get mad about it? Well, that was me. Do you know why they're trying to remove this? It's so they can do it themselves and monopolize the profits at over 50% from the content creator. So if you think that, oh, it's because Twitch wants us to have a better experience, get the fuck out of here. Go back to fairy tale land with rainbows and unicorns. Huh? Absolutely fucking not. Ms. Kev Shortass tweeted a similar statement as Asmongold's in terms of how streamers should be looking to leave Twitch if the policy change does go through and how OTK, which is a group of content creators that includes Ms. Kev, will move to a different streaming platform. The OTK Twitter account also stated this in a tweet directed towards the Twitch CEO and also released a direct statement to Twitch and you could pause the video here if you want to read it cuz I ain't reading all that. Ninja came out of nowhere like he dropped from Tilted Towers to add his own opinion on the situation by tweeting, Twitch continuing to move further and further away from who they used to be. But it wasn't just Twitch streamers talking about the situation. Elon Musk, yes the owner of Ford, commented under Twitch's tweet where they stated how they will be removing this policy change by saying lol. And also Valkyrie who's a 3 foot 9 popular YouTube streamer stated maybe communicate directly with streamers for feedback before making announcements to stay in touch with what's actually good for the platform. And you would think Twitch would already be doing something like this as customers are what runs your business but I guess they're just brain dead. The funny thing about this entire situation is how these random yellow checkmarked organizations are also joining in to roast Twitch which really shows how badly they messed up. So obviously after hearing all these negative replies coming from the top streamers, YouTubers who don't even use the platform and random yellow checkmark organizations one day after Twitch released their policy change they unleashed an essay worth of tweets explaining the situation and apologizing for their actions. But let me know what you think about the situation down in the comments below and feel free to leave a like and subscribe with that notification bell to never miss future videos.